Hello, welcome to game six of my match against Rust 2. So far, first player has won every game, so let's keep that up, huh? Um, Sculptor Fool's Gold, Sculptor Stockpile stuff seems really strong. Um, I think I am going to take a Slay on the five, like Slay Sculptor. And then we try to hit an early altar with sculpting for uh, Stockpile. And then we grab governors and do governor stuff and maybe use city quarter for draw. Um, this is not a great draw, but... Um, so how greedy do I want to be? Um, there's a 28% chance the sculptor's in the bottom bottom two and I just hit four toppers next turn. I can even hit three next turn. Um, so if I buy a stockpile on top deck and I'm always hitting, hitting, uh, hitting five next turn... Ouch. I did bottom deck the stuff. I kind of want a second sculptor, honestly. We can always sculpt for stockpot. We can always sculpt for fool's gold later if it's a thing we want to do. Um, this is awful. I don't have to take this, but I think I want to. I don't think I need another sleigh. So I'm going to give up that. I guess I'm just taking some horses here and a stockpile. Wow. Brutal, though. Brutal. Um, brutalness not hitting. Just brutal shuffle there for me. Brutal for a shuffle. And here I'm going to turn in this turn altar uh, estate into a governor and top deck it, I think. And buy second to last stockpile. But yeah, I, I feel like they're decidedly ahead now due to due to that really bad first shuffle for me. I bottom deck the sculptor. I don't hit six. I bottom deck, yeah, sculptor two coppers. So that's really rough. Um I do have sculptors down here, so I guess I'm drawing on. And I can consider taking slays, I can consider taking the flag bearer here. Um Consider taking a flag bearer here, um, buying a city quarter. Consider taking like two fool's golds, buying a city quarter. Um, we'll take the flag bearer and a silver. I don't think I need a silver. I think I will gain a fool's gold just kind of foolishly. And we will grab a city quarter now. So they have a lead in the governors, I imagine, somehow. Um, but they drew pretty poorly here, so that's good for me. Hopefully I draw like governor or city quarter here. Didn't draw either of those things. Okay. So we sculpt for a fool's gold. <laughs> Okay, we continue. We alter the flag bearer into a governor, which we top deck. And then I think I will buy another city quarter now. I think I'm nearing the point where this is going to work. My deck is going to work. Um, and I'll probably play the city quarter here. How many actions do I have down there? I have fewer actions down there. I drew a lot of actions in my first turn, I think. But... I, don't know, I can play one governor for plus three. Hope to draw two actions. Probably draw at least one. I'd be a little sad if I draw zero. But what do I have left? I have horses still, right? I have another horse. I have an altar. I have a sculptor. Um, I have a horse. I have an altar. I have a sculptor. So that's three out of seven. Three out of nine. Three out of eight. <laughs> okay. That was helpful. So yeah, especially if I find the horse. The horse is not a great out for me though. But horse sculptor. I'm triggering this reshuffle. I have another city quarter in the discard pile, I guess. So I guess I'm gonna play this first. Um, oh, I didn't have a horse. Okay, good to know. 
alter estate into governor. Sculpt a fool's gold. Um, so I guess we want to save one. I guess we want to save one stockpile for a rainy day. And we get city quarter and governor here. I don't think I want a city quarter and take on eight debt. I don't think it is worth it. I can take two city quarters and take on three debt. Um, is there a three pile coming? I don't think so. I have all the pile pressure with the, uh, I have all the pile pressure with the sculptors and the fool's builds. Oh, I drew them a bunch of cards with my governors. Right. Well, they're going to do the same to me, hopefully. I have three city quarters, so if they draw me even one more card, I've got a pretty good chance of drawing deck. Um, otherwise, it's a pretty sad turn. I'm probably game losing to top deck all the coppers. I have, what, five coppers? Six coppers? Five coppers, and they're all on top of my deck. Oh, Grobber! They have trash. Oh my god. I totally missed the grobber thing. I guess I can just alter a stockpile into a grobber myself. I felt like I just drew very poorly this game, and it's like completely messed with my mind. Um, that difference of turns three and fours for them. I think they just had a much, much better first shuffle. Okay, so this should, should draw me deck. I can... Um, so they may pile here, actually, with six games. They may pile here if they, um, I don't have anything that can be trashed for value either. That's really sad. If they play six stockpiles, they just buy six, seven fools golds here and win this turn. And I didn't draw any of the cards that can save me. Yep. Okay. Brutal. Brutal way to end the game. Um... I just blame that one on Shuffles, too. Nothing else to say there. Oops. Nothing else to say there. Um, yep. Um, they just had a really, really good turn two and three, and I had, or three and four, and I had a bad turn three and four, bottom deck of my opener. Um, so I'm like, I feel like we just both play evenly for six games, and uh, flip of the coin gives them the win in game six. Um, and we end the game basically seeing we're about equal players. Um, and I'm pretty, pretty frustrated by this match. Another match where I feel like I did not play worse and the, the cards were against me. Um, so another 2-4 for me after starting with two five ones. Um, so Rust2 is solidly in position here to win the, win the division. Um, but there's a lot of Dominion left. Um, and, uh, I get to go on a long, uh, Christmas vacation on complete Dominion tilt. So hopefully, um, you could leave me some comments in the YouTube videos and make me feel better about that if you would like.